Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Michigan, the Great Lakes state, is attempting to mimic California with the gun legislation. They want more gun control. Now, I've heard people in the past say, you know, Michigan has good gun laws. I will tell you something. There is no such thing as a good gun law. They're either extremely restricted or something you can live with. And for me, it's always been something I could live with. I didn't like it. I didn't like half the hoops I had to jump through. But I always felt like I could live with it. And it was never a problem. But then some psycho goes into Michigan State and starts shooting up the place. Now, they say, we, we need to prevent that from ever happening again. And so they campaigned and said, hey, we're going to save lives. The Democrats. Every time I hear, well, it's not a Republican or a Democrat issue. No, it's a Democrat issue. It's number one on their agenda. With everything going on in this state, with horrible inflation and economy that's sinking, housing prices are sinking, crime's up, defund the police, the roads are terrible. I go into other states, the roads are fine. They're, they're a lot better. Around here, it's like driving on the moon. You know, you just bump it all over the place. Causes damage to the vehicles. And what do they do? They want to implement stricter gun laws to save us all. They're going to save us all as they defund the police and they reduce criminal penalties. And that's exactly what happened with the guy who went and shot up students and other people at Michigan State. He had a gun conviction. Supposed to be a felony. They pled it down to a misdemeanor. Served a little bit of time on probation grabbed himself a couple 9 millimeters, went on a shooting spree in Michigan State. It was horrible. Why'd they reduce the penalty? And now they blame you and me for owning guns, and we're the problem because of this maniac. Meanwhile, it's a gun-free zone. I blame the administration at Michigan State for doing absolutely nothing to prevent, prevent this from happening or protect their students. And I know that's a tough claim, but... When, when you make something a gun-free zone, that's essentially the environment you're putting innocent people in. So the Democrats want to save our lives. They want to do this in three phases. Now, the first phase is safe storage laws. Now, I agree firearms should be safely stored, but I don't need the government to tell me how to do it. I don't see that in the Second Amendment. They're also saying they want universal background checks for all firearm transfers whether it's from a purchase at a gun store or person-to-person -person transfers. Universal background checks across the board. And they want the dreaded red flag laws. Now, let me tell you something. Red flag laws is an anonymous tip that could create a gun owner to get their firearms confiscated before a crime has been committed. Now, imagine an anonymous tip on a person who is extremely drunk and getting ready to drive. You contact them and you say, look, this person, they can go out and kill a bunch of people right now. They're drunk. Well, we have officers on the street. As soon as that crime is committed, we'll be all over it. They're not going to be all over it. You don't see them going confiscating somebody's keys in their vehicle and anything like that. They wait till the crime is committed, but not with the red flag laws. An anonymous tip. It could be a angry family member. It could be a neighbor who hates you. It could be somebody you work with who is mad because you got the promotion and they didn't. So they stay in the shadows. Meanwhile, the gun owner pays thousands of dollars and waits several years to finally get their day in court to clear their name. And if it turns out that they were innocent all along because the crime's never been committed and these upstanding people in the community, I'm sure in many cases, a lot of angry people would love to make that anonymous tip. Then they get their firearms back after a lengthy process. And they're calling that due process. That's not due process. And people have gotten killed in this country because of red flag laws because they refuse to surrender their firearms. And mistakes are made all the time. So Michigan wants to do that. They want to they want to champion, and they're doing this. They're saying we want to save lives. Now, why are they doing this? Well, the, the Democrats campaigned on it. It's all, you know, it's the Democrats who are weak on crime. They want to defund the police and they want stricter gun laws and leave you defenseless. It's like that every time. 
This isn't a bipartisan issue. Nobody wants to take your guns. Yes, they do. They say, we, we want common sense. Common sense gun laws. That's what we want, just common sense. It's all common sense. No, it's not common sense. I'll tell you what's common sense. Protect the citizens with armed people who are in that environment at the time. That's common sense. You know, the armed citizen saves more lives than law enforcement. Happens every day. Never gets reported. But that would be phase one. Phase two is they want a... 14-day waiting period. They call that a cooling-off period. You know, I'm really mad. I'm going to go purchase a gun, but I need to cool off a little bit. Give me 14 days. Think about how dangerous that is. Imagine a, a young lady who's living in an apartment and a couple predators move in next door. And they start threatening her and everything. She feels like she needs to protect herself with a firearm because it's getting pretty dangerous. Call the police, but they're, they show up and say, hey, look, I talked to them. They're fine. They're going to leave you alone. They don't leave you alone. You have to wait 14 days. That's like a death sentence. Then they want magazine capacity, capacity restrictions. You know, like, you know, reduce the clips. Reduce the size of the clips. That's what's dangerous. How in the world are you going to stop the criminals from having those? Somebody please explain that to me. Well, once they make it illegal, there will be fewer to go around. Nope, doesn't work that way. Nice try. Democrats run on emotion. And they take advantage of the emotion with the fake polls that they've been putting out there. The polls say, oh, 80% of the people agree with this. We even polled gun owners and they agree with it. Like they said in the poll, let me tell you something. You can get the outcome that you want to achieve by the way you word any poll. You can get whatever you want. 80% of gun owners agree with this. No, they don't. And people say, well, we have good gun laws. We don't have good gun laws. There's no such thing. We have more restrictive more restrictions that is going to make this place look like California. And then to top it off, they want to ban what they call assault rifles. Now, we see this across the country. They say, well, because of the Michigan State shooter, we need to ban assault rifles. Well, the Michigan State shooter used two 9 millimeters. All right? They didn't use a rifle. The two 9 millimeters. And yet, Michigan, with all of their brilliance and the, the Democrats who campaigned on it, they're going to keep us safe. They're going to ban assault rifles, America's rifle, modern sporting firearm. And they're going to do that to keep us safe. I'm telling you, this place is, is going to hell in a handbasket. I'm, I'm sick of living here. Instead of tackling inflation and the economy and the sinking housing and everything else, our taxes, they want gun control. And here they are front and center saying, we told you it's time to act with common sense. Well, their common sense makes no sense to me. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, the more we, all we have to do is just look at some of the other states. The more gun control imposed, the higher crime goes. It happens everywhere. And I don't, you don't need to hear me talk about all the examples, but it is everywhere. And it really is a disgrace. So Craig, congratulations, Michigan. You wanted mail-in voting tells me there'll never be a Republican in that state office again. You wanted Democrats, the ones who have double-digit inflation and want to raise your taxes. You wanted to believe when they said nobody was going to come after your guns. And here they are, right there with their arms wide open, saying, we're coming after your guns. There will be very little compliance on that front. I appreciate you watching, and you guys be safe.